rope to you. You had to trip me. Okay. Come back here and sit down. I want to talk to you. And fine, Squire, and I'll do it again. Uh, come on. That's what I want to talk to you about. Telling me? Big Jurassic with boy. I'm Big Jethro. <laughs> big that way, I mean, uh, grown up. You're a young lady now. Just start finding your manners and fixing yourself up real nice, wearing dresses. Oh, thanks for calling me a sis. It ain't sissy for girls to act like girls. You see, Ellie, I raised you like a boy, and I was wrong to do it. I reckon every man liked to have a son, and you was my only young. When your mom passed away, I just decided to turn you into a boy. By the time Granny come to help out, you was too wild to tame. By thunder, you could outrun, out climb, out fight, and out shoot every boy in them hills. Still can, Paul. Yeah. It ain't fitting. It ain't right for folks to go against nature. Now look at old Duke. Reckon we could turn him into a cat. Of course not. That's right. But nature made him into a dog. It's the same way nature made you into a girl. And lately she's getting more and more positive about it. Well, ain't my ears just growing? Well, like You're pretty. Oh, Paul. I know you don't like it when I say that, but you like it when the young fellas around here come in saying it, and they will. Only they'll probably be using words, fancy words I won't even understand. But Ellie Mae, ain't nobody can ever tell you how pretty you really are, Cynthia. There's a living picture of your mom. 